and salutations, this is Imperator Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hello! And today we are doing a new unboxing video of the Vilke Fenrika. Space Wolves. No, the Vilke Fenrika. Space Wolves. They're not called Space Wolves. Space Wolves. No. Space Wolves. No. Space Wolves. No. Space Wolves. no. Isn't it? You don't call them Space Wolves. Space Wolves. Space Wolves. Space Wolves. If, space you, wolves. if you call the Space Wolf a Space Wolf, He'd then they recognise that they're a space wolf. No, he'd probably bite you. Space wolf. Right, he'd get very angry with space you. Space wolf. And he'd consider you very disrespectful. Space wolf. So this is the starter army for the space wolves. And I'd say considerable value for money com compared to what's in it. Um, so we'll pop it out. Like, like that. Right. So, we get in this box, don't need them, we get a champion, a commander, is it a champion? Wolf Lord, that's it, there's a Wolf Lord. Now, I'll tell you something interesting about the Wolf Lord. Do you want to tell them something interesting about the Wolf Lord? I know nothing about the Wolf Lord. Yes, you do. They have the original helmet. Yeah, this original helmet. You don't remember things, do you? No. You are absolutely useless. Right. So on the medic. box, on the box, it shows that you have the Wolf Lord with the original Space Marine helmet, the Womble Marine Space Marine That's helmet. What's that? Yeah. However, you don't get it on the sprue. Oh. You already know this. We've had this conversation before. That was the old you box. You just don't remember anything. No, 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 no it's this no, no, box. No, it wasn't. No, it's this that box. Was the, that, that was actually the corn box. No, it's this box. No, the corn box. No, we had Which, the conversation no, yesterday. No, 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 no. We, had, we did have it yesterday with the corn box. Because no. in the corn box, you're supposed to get the awesome cool helmet, but you didn't get it in the sprue. You got it within the sprue. Yes, yeah. yeah. But this this is about the, the Vilka Fenrika and... We had this conversation about space walls yesterday. You're so, lying. Yeah. That's what's going on. You're lying. Um, oh god, you don't remember anything. Right, so you do not get that head. You get three different types of head, but you don't get that head. That head is actually on one of these sprues here, which is kind of strange, given that the the guy on the front cover there has that helmet. So you would assume that that helmet was actually in the in the pack that you came with, but it's not. So that's that's really weird. Right then we get the infantry. Right, this is the um, regular guys. You can actually make them up as various other things. You can do, do them as great hunters. You can do them as uh, the uh, wolf claws. You know the young ones and all that sort of stuff. So you get lots of options in the box. You get all sorts of different weapons, all sorts of different things. You get a storm shield. You get all sorts of stuff, and all the backpacks are very stylized. Um, you cannot use these figures for anything other than the space wolves. Put it that way. And they all have cloaks or, or, or options for cloaks. They have wolf fur. Every weapon has some sort of wolf-related thing to it, like a claw or. A, uh, tail or something like that and there's lots of fur and stuff so it's really stylized um, they're really stylized um, you can, you've also got lightning claws as well so you can equip troops with lightning claws depending on what, what, what you want to make the troops into you've got lots of options um, that's the book to put together the champion again with the wrong helmet just point that out that's the book for that, and an absolutely awesome bit of art on the back. So you have the rules for blood claws in the book. Now you can also have these troops as um, sort of the half guard type troops, the, the elite guard, uh, bodyguard, stuff like that. But it's only got the rules for the wolf claws in it, so that's straightforward. Um, then lastly, we have these, which are Fenrisian Wolves, ridden by Space Marines. Which is... A wolf ridden by Space Marines? Yeah, wolves, ridden by Space Marines. You get three wolves, you can see them on the front of the box. 
you get three wolves and three space marines to ride on the back of them, which is actually awesome, really, if you think about it. And you get some really cool head options and stuff like that. And you get, it, it's just brilliant. Um, so you get basically um, space marines riding wolves. Customizable wolves? Very customizable. Mm. Lots of different head options and stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I'd say this is the this is a brilliant set, and it really gets the theme of the of the Vilka Fenrika, and they look really cool. This one's got a robotic leg. Yeah, because if they lose a leg, they stick a robot leg on it. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, saying they're wolves, many many years ago, back when the chapter started, um, Lehman Russ as a as a young Primarch before he actually met, I had only just met, met the Emperor actually, and uh, he met Horus. And he asked him, he says, do you have wolves, or he asked the Emperor, do, do you have wolves, I heard, I heard you have wolves on Terra, on, on Earth. And the Emperor's sort of, well, not anymore. But if you would say that Earth had wolves, then it, w it wouldn't be true that Fenris had wolves because wolves were a lot smaller on Earth and weren't really the same creature, which means they're not really wolves. Um, they're just very large creatures that have the what we would call a wolf, but they're not actually related to wolves. They're a lot tougher than wolves. Um, they can regenerate their wounds and stuff. I mean, not in battle, but law wise. Uh, they're very tough creatures. <coughs> and of course, they are way bigger than. Than the average wolf as well. So there's some, sort of, there's some sort of Xenos strain, they're not actually wolves. Um, the name wolf comes from Space Wolf. Why are they called Space Wolves? It's because they have an aspect and their, their special ability. Yeah. Each Primarch has a special ability and their special ability is to become a werewolf. Yeah. When they get in, in stress or anger. Yeah. Um, each of the original Founding 20 cha chapters, way, 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 way back, um, each Primarch was, had a special ability. What's mine? Um, to be blue and really annoying. So... To be really nice and happy. He's, um, Gilliman was really, really stoic. Right, so he's um, like... He, he was he's unwavering, like yeah. Master Chief. Uh, yeah, yeah, but he's also pragmatic as well. No, he's not pragmatic, it's the other guy's pragmatic. So he's not pragmatic, but he's becoming pragmatic in the new books, but don't read them the rubbish. Um, so each chapter had its own sort of skill, its, its own ability. And the Space Wolves were really the only one out of the 20 that had the most extreme. Now, the Blood Angels had the ability to turn into vampires, um, well, more or less vampires, what we would call vampires. But that didn't really come about until the death of their Primarch. Um, so space, when Space Wolves get really angry, uh, not Space Wolves, uh, when Blood Angels get really angry they go all teethy and, and, and bitey and they have the Black Rage and they basically turn into a monster. Uh, a vampire, basically. Useful. Yeah. <coughs> Now, that must have been inherent in them from the beginning. So, it, uh, Sanguinus was... We'll do this when we do um, Blood Angels, but um, Sanguinus was, was was the most amazing, beautiful space marine. Everyone said he was, he was lovely and they thought it was great. Um, but in battle, he had a really vicious streak. That, that sort of... That didn't work, did it? He got killed by Horus. Yeah, he was fighting Horus, so it's a bit different. And yeah, uh, Gilman defeated him. Not Gilman. The Emperor defeated him. Yeah, the, the Emperor defeated Horus, yeah, but then again, the Emperor is a, a godlike creature. No, so. no, 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 no. The, Emperor, is it, is it, is the Emperor has a bunch of tubes tubes tied to him. Yeah, that's now. No, that's now. Even yeah. during the fight, he had a bunch of tubes tied to yeah, him. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so. Um, well, if you're going to talk about that, uh, the only other person to defeat Horus was the Space Wolves. Um, no. Yeah. No, it was it was the guy. It was Dawn. 
Now, Lehman Russ, um, British Year of Dawn. Lehman Russ uh, attacked the Horace's fleet and they suicide charged Horace's fleet, they boarded Horace's flagship and they were pretty much massacred. So about 10,000 wolves died, maybe 20,000. I definitely remember Dawn defeating Horus at one point. No, Dawn didn't defeat Horus. And then having a conversation with him. There was a fight between Dawn and Horus, wasn't there? Pretty sure Dawn cuts open, disembowels That's Horus. not Dawn, that was, um, that was Lehman Ross. Uh, Lehman Ross uh, stabbed Horus in the chest, with, in the belly, disemboweled him with a spit, the soul spear. Uh, Soul Spear? The Empress Spear. Um, uh, Wolfbane, that's it. Um, he stabbed uh, the Emperor with Wolfbane, which... So not the Emperor, uh, he stabbed Horus with Wolfbane, and Horus from that moment on was began to deteriorate, which led to the Battle of Terror, because Horus... Don't forget, knew don't forget how dumb your Paralak is first. Why? You've got to mention how dumb he is when he did that. Why? Because they had a conversation with him, didn't it? Yeah, he did have yeah, a conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell everyone that. Yeah, well, tell, he, it, nah, nah, tell everyone the full story about what Prime Matt did. Well, he stabbed Horus. Yeah. And Horus went down and was sort of bleeding out, his guts on the floor. Yeah. And then um, Lehman Russ said, Is that really you? Should we have a conversation now? Um, I want you to come back to Terra, everything's going to be fine. You can talk to your dad about it. And we'll just forget about the whole heresy thing. And Horus sort of laughed at him and said, It's been me the whole time. Because yeah. Horus wasn't possessed by demons. This, Horus actually you believed see, he was fighting. If Gilman was there, correct. he would have noticed instantly. Since your prime was too dumb. To Gilman realize. would never have attacked the vengeful, vengeful spirit. <laughs> Gilman would never put his marines in that sort of situation. I mean, that bottom well, one, that's because my leader is normal and understands proper tactics. Y'all just go running in and die. Um, the. the uh, Lehman Russ um, lost ha about half his chapter, if not a little bit less. Yeah, one idiot. Yeah, um, he he worse than decimated his own chapter by attacking the vengeful, vengeful spirit. Um, just one chapter, that's the, the Space Wolves, on their own attacked Horus's entire battle fleet with all seven legions there. Well, no, they focused their attack on one ship. Yeah, that was their plan. That's they cheating. They one ship. Uh, although Belisarius called help a little bit. And even doing that, they still lost. Um, yeah, of course they lost. They were never going to win. It was a suicide attack. Well, you could have won, because as soon as you kill Horus, it's over. Um, well, no, because when Horus died, the band took over, didn't he? And... Well, that's worse. You know what? Numerous is an idiot. You shouldn't have killed Horus. Actually, they could still have won, technically. I mean, we don't know the books out there yet, but... So you, you had Horus, okay? A man who just wants to kill the Emperor, and then you have Abaddon, which destroys worlds. That's only because he had a world-destroying so, ship. And so you killed Horus, so Abaddon could destroy worlds. Yeah, but that's different. It's your fault. No, that's completely it's different. It's your fault. And actually, um, I know we mentioned Abaddon before, and I said I didn't like him. In the like the new book, the 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 Solar War, they really do a good job of fleshing out his character a little bit more, and he's become a lot more um, main, more of an interesting character. He now has an interesting backstory, and he doesn't like the ruinous powers. Particular, there's this priest that follows him around and refuses to leave, and he keeps saying, "Go away!" And the priest said, "Nah, I'm not leaving." Um, and, and, and you, you really do get now, he's becoming an interesting character, he's not the idiot he was portrayed as before. Because he was, he was, he was portrayed as, as a, is he cool, he was portrayed as a bit of a fool. Um, no, so, uh, this is the Space Wolves. Space Wolves. Uh, if you want to put down um, exactly what sort of personality the Space Wolves have, there's this bit where um, Horus is about to kill, this is way back, way back, and there's a bit where Horus is about to kill their Primarch, Lehman Russ, and the Space Wolves begin just jumping on Horus, just howling and just jumping on Horus, just grabbing it, and Horus is killing a Space Wolf every time he waves his um, power mole, 
and the, the space walls are just piling on top of him, just piling in a huge oh, pile yeah. on top of him. And they manage to get uh, Lehman Russ out, and they get him through the doors, and they shut the doors, and they weld the doors shut. And they leave about a thousand space wolves on the opposite side of the door. And the space wolves are just howling and fighting to the death against uh, Horus' troops. And one of the space wolf command uh, officers who's there says, they're all going to die. It's wonderful. Because they're going to get an awesome death. You know, that's the sort of mentality of the people we're dealing with. Well, that's all space marines. The space wolves were worse than anybody else. All space marines to um, just have a glorious death. I mean, you mentioned before about the, the special ability is, is to turn into a werewolf, which is unfortunate. But um, when, I think it was about the series called again, um, when he was asked to um, create the Primaris marines, he was asked to take out the flaws. And he pointed out, or one of, one of his people pointed out, that um, checking the gene seed of the space wolves, the space wolves actually weren't human. They were actually Xenos. Which brings me Xenos back... Blood Angels. And... Which brings me back to the wolves. Um, they have um, the Fenrisian wolf DNA in their bot blood, which is what turns them into space wolves. Well, it's not a rat man. Oh, that'd be good if it, maybe that's you know that there's two chapters that we don't know anything about. Oh yeah, Ratman Man. Maybe one of them was Skaven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were Skaven Space Marine Army, who liked living sewers. <laughs> they'd, they'd invade a planet and immediately go into the sewers and start collecting globes and stuff. That's what they did. Yeah. yeah. Which is why they're rubbish. Um, also, the the Space Wolves' nickname is the Emperor's Executioners. Um, Probably because a they're not really human, and the werewolf ability allows them to actually defeat even vampires. Oh, okay. Remember, um, so in dire situations, as you said, it is actually quite useful. If you're losing horrifically, you can turn into a werewolf and eat the, the people you're fighting. Um, so that that is quite a good skill to pretty much fight anybody. And it's, it's, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that to another video. But the, the Space Wolves were known as the Emperor's Executioners and they'd already executed two legions. They'd already killed the other two legions. There were 20 legions originally created. The Space Wolves killed two of them before the Horus Heresy started. And before, and at the moment of the heresy starting, the space the space wolves went and tried to kill the emperor's children. They actually went and burnt their homeworld and killed most of them, mm. which is actually the beginning of the heresy. And um, it was actually a trap. And, and oh, well, that's a long story to do with the white scars. So we'll get into that later. Um, but. They're not, they were actually created to kill other space marines. And in the law since then, in the last 10,000 years, the space wolves have repeatedly come into, into problems with the Empire itself. They actually went to war with the Inquisition at one point. And they fought the Grey Knights, and they won. They defeated the Inquisition, and they defeated the Grey Knights. Um, that was all to do with the First War of Armageddon, not the Orcs, the Demon Invasion, which is another story, which will be for when we start actually doing the painted figures and showing you the figures that we've got for this army. Yeah. Um, because I think this video has gone on quite too long. Um, anyway. So, 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 so the camera says. Yeah, so the camera says, it's saying it on the side of the camera. Yeah, it is. It's it's saying, too long. Yeah, too long. Alright, um, so this is the unboxing video for the Vilka Fenrika. Space Wolves. Vilka Fenrika. Space Wolves. Vilka Fenrika. Space Wolves. So, uh, signing out, what did the Space Wolves say? That's it for me. Fenrisi Older! No, no, I'm done. Oh. Uh, I'm done. Fenrisi Aldo!